a hyper talk? Hyper talk is uh, we back in 2013 when uh, we did as well the Maze Festival in Johannesburg in South Africa. Um, there was this kind of format of Pecha Kucha and this kind of 20, 20 slides in 20 seconds. And then we were thinking, yeah, we should, we should have our own format, so we call it hyper talks. It's just five minutes, and uh, um, people have the chance to talk for five minutes about anything they want, what is related to games or whatever their passion they have want to share. <laughs> Hyper 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 Okay, a little bit louder Hyper Hyper Just like 
a half an hour later we had our hand in the game already done. Then we needed some some text and, 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 and some special effects and, and both of them were also made in 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 Premiere Pro and just the this specific special effect is basically the <coughs> lightning effect in, in Premiere Pro just pixelated and blurred and added all over to look interesting and, and, and basically taking taking these uh, easy steps uh, we created some some interesting solutions but then we needed some some story for the game and, and, and story uh, elements and I thought uh, that uh, why not use the same the same the same principles and this basically is a radio from my car also masked and, and tweeted and, and, and altered and this is uh, just a photograph uh, from place where, where, where I live place nearby and, and then it, I just took the, took the photo and edited it in, in this kind of trashy way to, to look like a retro movie this, this idea of, of easy and, and non-binding game design went over to promotional visuals as well as I had no time and, and no wish to, to model and, and, and create uh, these assets I just photographed what I had at home and then uh, which and, and, and edited over on Photoshop and then placed over over 3D models and, and even for Blonde our promotional was just a real life photograph just week to, to look uh, more interesting and, and, and let's say a bit more scary. So uh, our final result uh, is playable at uh, Office and uh, hopefully some of you played it or, or will play it and uh, uh, at last but not least I, I, I just wanted to, to express that uh, this kind of uh, design liberated me as a perfectionist and uh, I actually had fun creating all of those assets and making the game and I cannot say that about about a lot of other projects I was working on because there were some bars which I had to reach but when those bars were knocked down I just started to have fun so I hope that uh, if you will try and play the game you will have as much fun as we had the, making it. So thank you and uh, please uh, take a look at it on, on Steam and, uh, and it's coming uh, soon. So thank you. <laughs>